money moves with myth 2.0 the podcast and always remember gentlemen it's a mother fucking movie so today we're gonna jump straight into the topic We're going to be talking about the destruction of black communities across America. You know, we're going to actually be asking ourselves, why is it that all black communities around the countries are at a disrepair? You know, so without further ado, make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe. Let's get straight into the topic. So, as you know, we're no stranger to the black community. But I want to I want to talk about how the culture of African Americans in in America is unhealthy and and it plays a huge part in the description of black communities you know and that is the street dude hood dude culture hood girl street girl because it's not just guys there there's girls out here too who can care less you know um um a lot of you guys get out here and you want to blame the, you want to you, you want to blame the president you want to blame mexicans you want to blame white people you want to blame the indians you want to blame the chinese you know and what i'm seeing is this is one of the generations of some of the most um 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 how do you say this is a generation of the most needy American black people on the face of the earth. You know, why is it that you guys are sitting back not caring about each other? And a lot of you guys be talking about this racism stuff, but then you turn around and go and get food stamps. You keep begging for assistance. You keep on you need your section A, you know what I'm saying? You keep on trying to utilize the government. And a lot of you guys can't wait to get them taxes back for all you American-hating black people. For all you American-hating black people. You guys are the reason why our communities cannot prosper. You guys are sitting back playing the blame game. A lot of you guys, I tell you guys, you guys don't want to work jobs. You guys don't know how to treat each other. You guys don't know how to mind your business. Now, yeah, I said it. A lot of American black people, men and women, do not know how to mind their mother-loving business. And that's where the issues come along at. In the workplace, at school, family life. You know, nobody can't just be successful. You guys always want to pull each other down like crabs to the bucket. I just seen so much trash in black communities. Why are you guys ashamed to to pick up the trash in your community? Why are you ashamed to, you know, fix yourself up or start the business that's going to, you can fix your neighbor's grass. You can, you can paint their houses for the low. Get them a black man's discount that everybody be complaining about white people. You know, it shows how much you guys care about your community when you do the worst in your community. If the city don't come pick the trash up, the trash is going to be there. 
in a white neighborhood or any other neighborhood, if there's trash in that neighborhood, like I'm in, I'm in a neighborhood right now, ain't no trash on the ground, none. You know, all the boarded up houses, guys, guys are not getting into real estate. All the boarded up houses need to be bought, but how can you buy a house if you guys don't want to work a job? You know, um, a lot of you guys, you hood street dude guys, the women, the, the women are begging naggers. They're complaining. They're angry. And a lot of you guys are extremely violent. You keep on trying to get money the illegal way. Oh, I'm about to go make some fake checks. Oh, I'm about to go sell drugs. Oh, and, and here go the women. I'm about to start doing hair. I'm about to start doing nails. Ain't none of y'all talking about getting y'all kids into the NFL. Ain't none of y'all supporting the children. Everybody's so selfish in the black community. You guys are focusing on yourselves. You guys are paying for that shit. You know what I'm saying? Y'all want to go and blame white people for everything. And trust me, I'm from the hood. I know, I hear what people say. Oh, the white people are doing this, the white people are doing that. But you guys have not even been in a situation like, like with me. You know what I'm saying? I can't say that working a job is like slavery because I've never been a slave. Like, why do you guys think that white people is holding you back? You guys go spend your money with, with uh, black women talk about Benny Hanna's and all these other restaurants that are not black owned. They are, black women are uh, ain't nothing but a continuous continuation of helping money dissolve from the black community. You know, and I'm not saying spending with other races is bad. But if you guys, you know what I'm saying, like buy the houses, invest in your children, start an LLC, learn to trade, work for the city, pick the trash up in the neighborhood, be a good person. A lot of you guys ain't good people, man, in the shows, bro. I'm just keeping it real. I'm keeping it one thou wow out here, you know. And so a lot of people ain't going to do that for you, but I'm going to do it for you because we're going to keep it solid. Over here, you know what I'm saying? We're going to keep it 1,000 on this YouTube channel, man. Like I said, man, I appreciate you guys for rocking with your boy. Make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe. And always remember, fellas, it's a motherfucking movie. Over and out.